What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9. Oh my gosh, feels so good to say that, doesn't it? And we are starting right where we left off at the end of last episode, except I have done a little bit of work. You see, inside was not looking so good. I put in a floor. It's super boring because we have a lot of stuff that we want to fill the space with. And I also put in a ceiling as well and a way to get up there. And I think this is going to be kind of our living quarters. Who is that? We got a gem sneaking in here. Oh, I think she just dropped down the hole down to the skelly farm, it looked like. But I think we'll put this up here as like our bedroom area, I guess, where we'll, we'll keep all of our things. And down here... I want to make this more of like a storefront in a way so people can come in and the idea is that we'll have the enchantment set up off to the side and I think I'll put together a little kiosk right here where they can order enchantments because that's how I want to play this out. I want people to come in and basically drop off some items and say, Impulse, I would like this to have sharpness five on it. Is that a thing? That's a thing. Um, so and then I will basically fulfill the order as soon as possible. And also, I think I'm not going to charge just like a single price for these. I think what I want to do is actually do a little bit of bartering with them, you know, because it's still early game and there's still some things that I need even more than diamonds. Although at the moment, I, I haven't gotten too many diamonds, so that would be nice. And we'll just strike up a deal based on whatever it is they need and we'll make a decision on a on a case-by-case -case basis so all right this is set up now here and i will do some decoration i'm trying to decide what i want to do with these with these walls here right we need these and i probably need to cover them because they don't look so good but i'll figure that out but first i just want to open business here i knew i there's hermits i mean they could be enchanting themselves right now and i could be missing out on business so i just want to go ahead and get this set up get the order book done and uh, open the shop for business and then we'll see how it goes. All right, we are set up here. We now have our order form right here as they come in the door and it's pretty simple. Welcome to I Enchant. Please place your order on the next page and leave your item to be enchanted in the chest. How much does it cost? I don't know. Impulse will be happy to work with you for a great deal though. And then basically we have a sample order form here. So in this case, Impulse is going to put in a sword and wants unbreaking and sharpness five. That's going to be tough to get. <laughs> and here they can start filling out on page three and copy paste to more pages if we got multiple orders going on. So I think that will work. Got to remember to go back to page one. All right. And then they would just put that in there. So yeah, put that in there. And then basically then it's on me to do some grinding to get the because it worked so well for our pickaxe last episode, didn't it? I might regret this business but if it gets us some diamonds obviously that's needed look at us we're still sporting iron pretty much everything so yeah i'm looking forward to this i'm gonna go drop a note and the discord so we have like a hermit craft shopping channel in our discord and that kind of lets other hermits know what we've got for sale and stuff and they'll read that and hopefully they'll come in right away i was also thinking i might want to well I need to light this up a little better but i might want to wall this off because what's to stop them from just coming in and using my enchantment table? I think I'll put a wall here and then say like employees only type thing and then maybe make this look a, a little bit nicer. So I'm going to do that and hopefully we'll get our first customer very soon. All right, I've been doing a little tidying up around here as you can see. Put in some path blocks here. Got a little, I guess, dock because I kind of envision that people will be boating up to this place. In fact, you see boats kind of scattered across everywhere. So yeah, I think that's how, you know, early game before we have a Elytras, we're going to be traveling here to get to each hermit's place here in the starter village. And wow, there's stuff happening. But anyway, uh, let's check out the inside because I've done a little bit of work in there as well. Look, doesn't this look so much better? We've actually got this whole thing kind of decorated. I've actually used some of the glow squid ink and put these to a purple color. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, using some amethyst crystals, this kind of just gives that whole enchanting type of vibe to it as well. Let's see, have we got any orders while I was doing this? Nope, not yet. Okay, no problem. Just checking. But I've also put up these walls here. We have my employees only area, and this is where our enchantment setup is, as you saw. And then also over here, this is kind of my private area, so no entry here. It's kind of where my bed and junk is. You know, we got to get organized. We'll do that soon. Don't you worry. But now now that this is set up, I am ready to take on some business, except if anybody does come in, I only have 12 levels of XP, so I think what I should probably go do is just bank up a bunch of levels of XP so that when we do get a customer, we're ready to rock and roll. So down to the Skelly Farm, 
Hello. I go. Alright, let's get in here. So this shop is supposed to be... Like, you can just customize enchants, I think? That is indeed how it works. Oh, quit, quit. Uh, hi. Oh. <laughs> I was just like, um, um hello? <laughs> well, look, now that's you're... service. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I just, I, that's all I do. I just wait behind this door, waiting for customers all day. No, I just happen to be I, in there I'm, doing I'm going to say bit. that's only a little creepy. Are you going to be my first customer? Is anybody? Uh, I'm, I think I mean, you are. I was thinking about it, but, you know, Ooh. that was a little... <laughs> oh, too aggressive on the selling. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, came in a little um, hot there. My bad. <laughs> like I just walk in, he's just like, blam, cool guy. <laughs> so, so let me explain explain my situation. Okay? okay, all right. I am building in the water. Okay, and look at those. These are. Did you, did, did you just see what just happened? <laughs> Did you just see what just happened? You yeah. you gave me my first diamond. I mean, you didn't give it to me, but these these are are very unenchanted. These these aren't aren't going to do much good in right. the water, are they? So, not very conducive for the building of you know in the watery places. Right. Okay. Um, or for the falling, like or for oh. anything. Right. Really. Okay. <laughs> so if I'm if I'm reading between the lines here, I'm guessing you would want something like depth strider. And you mentioned falling, so maybe some feather falling as well. You want a couple enchants on there? I mean, well, I mean, how much? What are we looking at for, like, a, a full shebang? Like, mm. protection, unbreaking. Oh, the whole thing. Like, the whole, like, yeah. I, I want super boots. Full shebang, diamond boots. Yeah. What's 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 the price? What, 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 well, what are, I, I mean, it's it's basically I'm willing to kind of accept whatever you, you have. Oh, uh, drown head. Nope. Done. Mm, nope. Done trade. Nope. Trade done. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say you've obtained an abundance of so far? I mean, we're still early stages here. What, what, what? Redstone? Oh, that's good. That's good. So you I know, I have an affinity little, for redstone. A little bit of that. Uh -huh. I got some of those. What's that? Golden, golden apple? I mean, mm. just regular golden apples. Um, and I've got a decent amount. Oh my amount gosh, of a decent amount of those. Okay, well, I don't nearly have any diamonds uh, to my name, so I mean, a diamond block and a redstone block. Oh, oh, I mean, multiple diamond blocks and m multiple redstone blocks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't just be showing off. Oh my gosh, you are rich. Jeez, wow. I will, I will do this. Okay. Oh, jeez, I mean, a whole a stack. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. And then let's say that. Ooh, that's gonna get me. That's gonna get me nearly suited up. I like that. And then what if I did that for rush service? Rush service. I will get on it today. All right. So fully loaded boots. Okay. Give me. Mm -hmm. Give me. I might need to spend some time at the Skelly Spawner to get my XP for this, <laughs> but I will make it happen. We will. We'll get you oh, these pronto. Who was that? Another customer? Shh, oh. It's green. Oh, it's green. Okay, good. Because at, at this point, <laughs> at, you got me. You got me busy for today, so I can't handle another customer. So <laughs> I mean, I, I I feel like I paid fairly well. Right? You did. You paid very well and upfront. And, and that, nonetheless. that's how you can. That's where you can set the standard for every other customer and remember mm. that XB not only the first, but the best. Yeah, yeah. Very generous with the payment. Right. All right, man. I, uh, I'll get right on this. I will uh, hit you up as soon as they're ready. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right. Sounds awesome. All right. Thank thanks you. for the business. I'm starting to wonder if I really thought this through all the way. <laughs> this might take me a while to do. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get going. Oh, I might need to go get some more books from, <laughs> from Pearl. I think she has them all from the mansion raid. All right, so it's time to fulfill the grind, and we got some enchanting to do. He's got a very specific order here, and we want to make sure that we have our first customer satisfied so that he can tell the rest of the server we have a good business here. So I was trying to get some books. I figured if I got the right books and applied them, then we would be good to go. And after a while of trial and error with that, I did get Feather Falling 4, but then I decided, you know what? We should at least see what we would get on the boots if we put them in the enchantment set up by themselves and to my surprise we did pretty well we got blast protection for unbreaking three and depth strider three which was one of the things he really really wanted so between that and the feather falling book we were pretty much there but i need to combine all these and he's still not gonna be 
fully happy, I think, until we have mending on these boots. And I kind of anticipated that. And one of the times it was actually night here on the server, I went out and I found this guy. Look at them. All right, so we're gonna use him. We're gonna convert him into a regular villager. We gotta go through the whole zombie conversion process. And uh, hopefully that means I get my trap door back that he, he, he grabbed when I brought him through my front door. But uh, yeah, we'll get this guy converted. And then I got to go through the whole, you know, placing lectern over and over again until we actually get mending. And then I'll be able to buy that from him and we'll get XV's boots completed. So, all right, um, I guess first things first, I, I need to get weakness potion, which means a trip to the nether. Oh no. Turns out the nether wasn't too bad. So I got my two blaze rods and I came right back home. Well, we've got our brewing stand now, but I need some fermented spider eye in order to brew up the weakness potions. So since people tend to sleep through the night, I have to go caving to look for mobs. And, uh, ooh, is that an abandoned mine shaft? This could be good. Usually these have like spider spawners and stuff. Let's see if we can find, ooh, is that cobble? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. <gasps> no. Oh, good, it's a spider spawner, perfect. <laughs> oh, look at this. this, is already kind of like made for us farm. They can't get through here because this is a regular spider spawner, not the poisonous kind. Okay, well, this will work. We'll just stand here until we kill enough to get a spider eye. Okay, there we go, I saw a few drop. Oh, actually four, wow, okay. We can go ahead and light this up now. I think just one torch will do it because of the new spawning rules in 118. The light levels are gonna be uh, high enough now that they won't spawn so we can safely check these chests out. I'm hoping there's something good in them. Okay, well, we need this too. And oh, melon seeds, very nice. Did find a chest also in here that I looted and I was able to get some pumpkin seeds. So I think I pretty much have all this stuff, but let's go ahead and grab the redstone. All right, well, that worked out. I think, should I put a sign on this? Letting anybody that comes by know that, yeah, this is going to be like my spawner. I, I might do something with it. It might be good to have it just in case. And I think I want to go through here and loot all of this cobweb as well. We got to let the hermits know this is ours. There we go. That'll do. All right, we finally got what we need. Fermented spider eye. Let's go ahead and throw that in. All right, so that gives us the weakness. Now we got to make it splash. All right, perfect. And lucky us, we actually found a golden apple in one of the chests in the abandoned mine shaft. So perfect. We've got exactly what we need to go ahead and convert this guy. All right, here we go. I love that sound. I also just realized I don't really want him walking around up here and trying to escape. So let's put up a wall and we'll keep a little holding cell right here. Haha, -ha, that should work. Allows us to get out. He can't. And uh, yeah, I don't think he can get out this way either. And then we wait. Aha, we've done it. We have a villager. Is he in the boat or not in the boat? I can't tell. Anyway, we're going to get rid of the boat. There we go. Oh, he was sucking into the floor a little bit, it looked like. All right, we brought our lectern. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a mending trade out of this guy. Oh, and I'm not prepared. I don't have, I don't actually have any emeralds. So that, that could be a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that could be a problem. So I figure I need another villager, and I'm thinking if I get a Fletcher, I can just trade some sticks with him and get the emeralds and then use those to go ahead and lock in our villager trade if and when we finally do find a mending villager. So I remember that Tango had actually mentioned to me that he set up a villager breeder. I went looking for it and voila, found it. No problem. It's actually just behind my base. So I got a villager bred up so I could put him in a boat and take him back. And after a slightly painful ride back into my base. I got a fletching table, I broke down all my wood into sticks, and started getting as many emeralds as I could. With emeralds in hand, just needed a few books, and I am ready now. So, here goes the fun part of swapping out lecterns until I finally get a good deal. And sure enough, it wasn't too long before I got a pretty decent mending trade. And it was decent, of course, because I had just converted him from a zombie to a villager, so he was still very happy with me. Alright, thanks to our new villager, we have everything we need now. Mending, feather falling 4, 
I think we'll just combine these in here. I think if I do mending first, it's going to be cheaper. And we'll do that. And then we can just put them right on these boots. And that should do it. I mean, I can't think of what else I might be missing from like the perfect pair of boots. Again, if it was regular protection four, I think it'd be a little bit better. But other than that, this is going to give him everything he asked for. So with that job is done i can actually put it in the completed orders chest and i will let xb know he's not on the server so i'll drop him a note in discord i will let him know job is done and uh i'm thinking i might start on my my own stuff now <laughs> that uh you know we've made a sale and we've actually got these diamonds i could probably start making my own gear and getting myself enchanted as well and mending is going to be a huge help so, in fact, I was also thinking, now that I have two villagers, I could plop down a third bed and start breeding them myself if I want to get a few more of these librarians and start getting a nice book system going. But while I was working on my own gear, ZF actually reached out to me because he wanted an audience for something most likely crazy that he wanted to do. And, you know, I couldn't miss it. He didn't make this easy. Okay. No. Is he, is he all the way up there? Where is he? I don't know. Oh, hey. I was just gonna ask him. Oh, there oh, you are. Hi. Whoa, hey, guys. Hi. Nice. Oh, oh, nice jumpsuit. Oh, thanks very much. It's, it's the, the evil Zendini or something. It's, it's, I'm Ezid Kanizid. That's my oh, outfit. My. <laughs> That's great. That is great. It supports me in all the right places. It's, yeah, it's very comfy. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's extra pink. You got that going for oh, you. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Mind the hole. Mind the hole. What? What is this? Ooh. This is fancy. Uh, What's the trophy? Yeah. <laughs> this is my tro This is what I'm trying to achieve right now. If I can do this bucket save from world height to bedrock, I I win this trophy. My okay. bucket trophy save. of the season. So explain <gasps> what 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 oh. is this? What what is a? You're jumping from up there, in yep. the hole. Yep. Are you gonna have the? I assume, and then you're just gonna try and right click the bucket before you splatificate. That's the goal. I mean, splatification <laughs> might occur first a few times. But oh my I'll gosh. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, I can pull it off, it's gonna be epic. So yeah, it'll be big epic. And if there's an there, I heard that, isn't there? <laughs> there's an achievement for surviving the fall, but not for doing it with a like a bucket in your hand not already. For the like uh, Kinesin, Kinesin so you have to survive to get the trophy. Is that what I'm guessing? Yes, but if you die, no, you don't get it. Says I, I don't need to do it first time, right? I, he's up. Okay. Good luck. Are we ready? Ready. Riffy! Here you go, Riffy. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Here he goes. Okay. Ready? He's got the bucket head. Here he comes. He's, he's coming. He's, 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 he's coming. And. and ba, ba, ba. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Ruined. <laughs> Try <Reels> again. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was amazing. Okay. Here he comes for real this time. Three, two, one. Ooh, at twilight even. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Here he comes. Here he goes. Oh, is this trajectory okay? Okay. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Right. There he goes. Oh. Save it. Save it. Save it. Oh. oh gee. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, first of all, we got to sleep here. It's getting night. Again. Yeah. We go again. We go. We go oh, again. he's going. We go did again. he fall? Did he? Oh, he did it. I just heard Wait, him say we go again. <laughs> Was that him flying He by? did it. Yeah. He did it and I missed it. I know. Oh, he's Whoa. killing himself. He's killed himself with lava. Oh, great. Now there's lava down there. Oh, my. <laughs> you did on it. Fire. Uh, where's the lava from? <laughs> That's just so I could get back quick. Uh, that was my oh, teleportation. I missed it. I didn't know you were going to jump again. I was sleeping and you jumped yeah. right by. Yeah, I just, oh, and we just heard, I go, we go again. We go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oops. Oh, my. God. That was like second try, though. I can't believe it. That well was pretty done. good. Second try. Okay. I will applaud thee. Yes. Very Thank nice. Thank you so much. Well, you know, Tango, we, we have to try this. <laughs> well, I kind of oh. want to. Yeah. Oh, get it out there, guys. Fun. Go for oh, it. Oh, I got it. All right, climbing. Okay, this is Ooh. happening. Are Do we doing this? I'll call it in three, two, one, go. Oh. Did you go? Uh, I feel like Tango didn't go. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we try again. We try again. Okay. Go for it. 3, 2, 1, go. That was a fast countdown. Jeez. And we got this. No! 
I've been holding the whole time, yeah. I'm gonna try fast clicking now. <laughs> yes! Oh, fast clicking worked, huh? Here it he goes. Here it goes. I heard your fast clicking too. Nope. Oh, oh man, oh. come on. Okay, put water on the ground. Come on, me. just put it down. Just put it down. What water on the ground? Okay. Come join us in our jacuzzi. I'm gonna pretend yep. I totally nailed it. Yep. I'm the greatest first Yay! try! Yay! <laughs> Everybody else thinks you did it! <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is my final attempt. I'm gonna nail this one and... Perfect! Ho oh, ho ho! Did it! Woo! <laughs> first try! Oh, well, gentlemen, I do believe this trophy is uh, is mine, so I will... Wow, you guys are almost actually spelling a word here. Really? Huh? Face forward, Z face back. Oh! See? It's almost forming. Uh -huh. If only I had... If only you had it. If only I had a T on me, apparently. Mm -hmm. I need a superhero game. Yeah, you do. You need <laughs> to get a T on your chest or something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh there. man, that was fun. Thanks that was fun. Out, so how do we how do we present this trophy to you? I mean, um, oh, uh oh, well it's on the floor now. Um, there you go. It's a done. Dirty got trophy. A knock, knock back sword. No. Mm -mm. No. Um, Sorry. I, it, You're gonna knock back it all the way home. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's not gonna be anyway. <laughs> Well, I guess you know where you're building your trophy case. <laughs> <laughs> I just build it around. Here we go. Yeah, it's perfect. Beautiful. Oh, looks great. And looks no, no, great. That's amazing. Well done, Zed. Well, that was definitely interesting to watch. <laughs> Finally pulled off that boat trick, though. First try. Um, but you can see since then, I've done a little bit of grindy work. I've been at the Skelly Farm getting tons of XP. We got 61. Uh, that's just in case anybody's happened to place any orders while we're out and about. And I am full shiny diamond armor. Oh, yeah. And and I've got some, I got some really good tools as well. Enchanted, named on them, and everything. Uh, it's not the best gear in the world, but this should definitely help keep me alive. And um, those of you wondering what happened to the totems on the mansion, I, I, I still have mine. And I decided, you know what, it's time. I'm going to sport it. I'm going to sport it. So that I don't end up like Azuma there in chat who just got killed by a skeleton. See? That's not going to happen. I'm fully kitted and I have a totem now. So, yeah, we're buff. Buff pulses back. All right. So, it's been a little while since we've been in the Iron Enchant's shop here. I'm kind of curious to see if anything has gone down. Have we... Have we gotten any more customers since XB? And uh, I guess we'll look at the order form book. Ooh, we've got our first order. Second order, I should say. Gem Gem. First <laughs> written order, anyway. Wants a sword. Ooh, mending, looting, sharpness five, unbreaking, and sweeping edge. Oh, no. Sharpness five is going to be a bit of a trouble because we can't just get that directly from the enchantment setup. We might have to rely on some villagers. I think it's time. I think it's time to get our villagers going. Oh, look at this. We've also got another order here. Zed. Wooden pick. Really? <laughs> he wants me to enchant a wood. Is he going to pay me to enchant a wooden pickaxe? Best wooden pickaxe ever. Part of the collection to create the world's best enchanted slash worst gear ever to display it in my base. Let's talk before you make it. Okay, okay. All right, so I'll have to meet up with Zed. See what's going on. The best worst ever. Interesting, interesting way of saying that. And here they are. Here's Gem's sword. All right, well, it's already got sharpness four, so that's that's helpful. And then here's our, I, why he didn't even have to give me a wooden pickaxe. I could have made a new one for him. I'm confused. How is there two of them? There's only three beds. That's not, I don't know how that happened. There's only, there's only, there's, Twins! They had twins! That's what happened! Congratulations! All right, well, I suppose this is what we're gonna do next. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of here. We'll get a villager little trading hall set up. Go ahead and get the boat. You can get the boat. He really didn't want to get split up from his... Oh, no, I just realized. You're gonna... We gotta get you in a boat first, too. Don't get in the same boat, please. There... Oh, this is fine. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I just didn't want him to be free. So we'll go ahead and move this, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is go in the basement of this place and get a little 
a little villager trading hall set up, at least temporary one. All right, things are coming along. I've got the villagers down here. We're starting to lock in some good trades, and I really focused on, well, aside from this guy, I focused on ones that we would need to hook Gem up with the most, the bestest sword ever, right? Sharpness five needed, all these things needed, and uh, my trading halls, it's a bit of a mess. Don't, don't worry, we're gonna get this nice and neat here shortly, but I was able to finally get all the books needed to make her sword, and I want to use these levels before, you know, something crazy happens. It, you, you notice I put my totem on my offhand because uh, walking around with 63 levels this early in the season, it, 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 it feels a little reckless. All right. So let's see if we can get these books combined and get gem swords squared away. Mending, Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3, Looting 3, and Sharpness 5. Let's go double check the order and make sure we got this right. We don't want to mess this up because we want to have customers very, very happy. Yep, that is exactly what she asked for. The strongest sword ever. And hopefully I have enough levels to make this thing. All right, look at that. It's only going to cost us 29 to get the sword done. I have 32, which means I can I can spare an extra level. And we'll name it behind you, Gem. And it cost me an anvil. Impulse! Hello! Oh, oh, you, I'm, I'm just in the back room. Hang on, I'll come right up. Oh, jeez. I... I hear spam clicking. Of okay, I'm covered. I'm covered. Hi, <laughs> oh, no, you did it. No, you did <laughs> You have one of those doors, you know? I know. I stole the idea from Pearl, but I <laughs> apparently also have the same problem she did with people doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. I bet there's a... Yeah, there's an extra entrance. Look at this. Oh, that's this smart. Fun way. That's smart. I see. I thought I was good trying to do it this way so nobody could use it as an actual door, and you just thwarted that straight away. Jeez. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I got your order. Uh huh. Thank you how's, for that. How's my sword? You it's, have you taken care of my sword? I did. I've been working hard on it, actually. Um, just ignore all the noise of all the hmm. Uh, let's pretend they're not around. Yeah. I needed them because you asked for specific things that I couldn't get from the enchantment table, really. So, um, but yeah, it's oh, done. Oh, I, I was a, I was a challenge. Was you, I? Yeah, you were challenged. It was good though. I stole that already out of there. You ready? You want to see it? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Grand reveal. Grand oh. reveal. Ooh. There it is. There, there it, is. it is! Oh my, behind you, Jim! <laughs> and it works great! Yeah, that, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got some good armor now. That didn't do much, but uh, for creepers and such, yeah, it's gonna it's mm -hmm. gonna serve you well. And hopefully... Uh, three. Oh, I love it! Now when I yell behind you, Jim, you can just turn around and kill him yourself. Mm -hmm. Swipe! Right. Swipe, swipe, Exactly, swipe. you got this. You're That'd pro. Great. <laughs> it's perfect. So, it, well, how much is that going to cost, mm. Impulse? Not much, you know. I get the neighbor deal, right? Yeah, neighbor deal, mm -hmm. friendship. You know, we, mm -hmm. we've had, we've got a lot of experience together this mm -hmm. season already. So, I don't know, just a couple diamonds is fine. Whatever you can afford. I'm not I'm not uh, fussed about it. Like I said, you're kind of doing me a favor by pushing me to get geared up here. Well, mending, I can see, costs two. Mm -hmm. So, we'll start with two. Okay. And then... I, 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 how much work was it? I don't know. I've got diamonds. It took me an hour or so. How about, how about let's just say, okay, so it was two for mending. And how many other enchants did I put on there? Like four other enchants? Yeah. Let's do, let's just do one diamond for all the other enchantments. I'm, one, yeah, two, cheap. three, four. There one we go. Per. Six diamonds. That's the neighborhood discount. Okay. Don't tell. Okay. Oh, I won't tell. Don't I will not tell, tell XB. XB. I didn't give him the neighborhood discount. I won't tell discount. him. I'm not okay. There's no, yeah, no sense. You thing. heard nothing. <laughs> I overpaid. I don't even know what you're talking he about. Did overpay, he did overpay. <laughs> you a think lot. I got all this diamond gear? <laughs> Wait. That's what's called being a good customer. Yeah. Come on. Oh. I'm trying my best out here. I'm still in partially iron. <laughs> that's that's why I was that's why I was trying to be nice to you, Jam. I saw that you didn't even have a diamond chest plate yet, so I'm like, oh, I don't think I want to take too many diamonds off of her. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So what you been up to, Jem? Listen, I have made a shop. Already? Mm-hmm. Very well, so did you. I guess and I did too. I shouldn't be yeah, too surprised. Yeah, we're kind of in this business thing together mm -hmm. because you're using the XP. And I'm using the items. Exactly. Wow. Okay. So, well, what, you, what are you doing with the see, items? Come see. I like... built an archer. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is epic. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. I love the hair. That's amazing. She's pretty cool, right? Yes, very mm -hmm, cool. Mm -hmm. Come see, come see. Okay. Wow. Right. This uh -huh. is the shop. Gems. So bones, I'm selling bones. Bows and okay, all the things. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Arrows and some bows. And we've already had a couple of sales on the bow blocks. Oh, Are they I pretty see cheap? That. I'm not sure. You know, it's... Is it too cheap? It's Are you working. regretting the price it already? Might, or? It might be too cheap. I'm, it's probably <laughs> fine. I, th I feel like people don't have diamonds, but I didn't know what to price it at, but yeah. I didn't want it to be like crazy. Yeah, I'm having the same struggle. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'll, we'll negotiate a deal. And then every time people are like, how much do I owe? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's no diamonds. It's so hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, cool. We didn't really like put together a stellar collection system for the farm. So I feel a little bad how hard it must yeah, be to okay. put everything together. But you think it'll work for now? I think it'll work just fine. Okay. Well, if, uh, if you need me to install a sorting system or something to help you out, I'd be happy to do so. That would be epic. Maybe we'll need to down the road. Okay. If the cool. archer gets good business. Wait, you're making fun of my door. What is this? That's a good it's door. It's not even a real door. That's a good... It's a, that, what is this called? Impulse? What is... <laughs> this is a... It's a trap door. It's a door. <laughs> okay. Is this <laughs> it's like, a door, is Impulse. Is like a kiosk? Do you just wait here for people to order? <laughs> Well, yeah, it's it's nice because you can see in and it's welcoming and I guess good. so. I guess that's but true. But mobs won't go in. Yeah. Okay. All right. I take it back. That's smart. <laughs> well, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that we both found like really good usage out of that farm. Yeah. Fantastic early game shop we yeah. have. Yeah, exactly. I'll be sure to make sure all the stuff's collected when I'm there AFK and for, for the XP and stuff. So oh, that uh, it can go perfect. in the shop. Yeah, cool. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah, exactly. Teamwork is dream work. And uh, I think we mm -hmm. already proved that we make a good team. So we do. We do. Mm -hmm. Well, I love it. I love it. Well done. And uh, hopefully we get a lot of business. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you nice. for the sword. You bet. Enjoy. Happy killing. Just I shall. Not, not me because we're business I partners. Won't. Okay. I would never. I'll kill Pearl <laughs> later. Perfect. Love it. See ya. <laughs> you know, for a little while there, I was getting nervous that our business was not going to pick up and that we were maybe too late for hermits to really care for enchanting already. But yeah, it looks like we're starting to pick up some steam here. And this idea of just selling the mending books is already lucrative. So yeah, options, right? Options are always good when you have a business. We have the option for people to just drop things off and... Uh, Right, we got to talk to Zed. We'll do that next time and we can get them taken care of or, you know, self-help, of course, is always good if they want to just do this. And we've already made a few sales already off of those books. So very nice. Very nice. I still know what this is about still. I got to figure that out. It looks like somebody might have just like taken off their clothes and logged out for some reason. I have no idea what's going on there. Anyway. <laughs> that's gonna do it for us today hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button and if you're not subscribed make sure you do that before you go and with that said i'll see you again next time have a good one everyone